This is one of the amazing stories of my friend when he was caught online while cross-dressed. And the story was very interesting. So don't skip any part. Now I will start the story. Once I mustered the courage to open the door, I found Harry standing there, wearing a puzzled expression on his face. His eyes widened as he took in my appearance, clad in an elegant dress, heels that accentuated my femininity, and carefully applied makeup enhancing my features. I felt exposed and vulnerable, fearing his reaction. Hey, I, uh, thought I saw something strange in that video chat. Is everything all right? Harry stammered, clearly caught off guard by my unexpected attire. Taking a deep breath, I decided it was time to come clean. I invited Harry inside and led him to the living room, my heart pounding in my chest. With trepidation, I began to explain the truth, revealing my lifelong secret of cross-dressing and my inner struggle to accept myself. To my surprise, Harry listened attentively, his eyes reflecting a mix of surprise, confusion, and empathy. He confessed that he hadn't expected such a revelation, but he assured me that his friendship wouldn't be affected by my personal choices. In fact, he admired my courage and vulnerability in sharing my deepest secret with him. As our conversation progressed, Harry started sharing stories of his own struggles, of times when he felt lost and unsure of his own identity. The atmosphere shifted from fear and anxiety to one of understanding and acceptance. It was as if a weight had been lifted off my shoulders, and I no longer felt alone in my journey. Over time, Harry became my confidant and ally, supporting me as I explored my femininity and grappled with my identity. Together, we delved into the realms of imagination and created a magical sanctuary where my dreams could come to life. We would spend evenings inventing fantastical stories, where I transformed into a graceful nymph with flowing locks, wearing gowns made of moonlight and stardust. Harry, with his vivid imagination, conjured enchanting landscapes filled with mystical creatures and breathtaking adventures. Our shared imagination knew no bounds, as we crafted tales of bravery, self-discovery and acceptance. Through our stories, I learned to embrace the duality of my identity, finding beauty and strength in both my masculine and feminine aspects. One evening, while immersed in our narrative, something extraordinary happened. The characters we had created materialized before our eyes, stepping out of the realm of fantasy and into our living room. A radiant fairy with shimmering wings fluttered gracefully, and a gallant knight donned in gleaming armor stood tall beside her. My eyes widened in astonishment, and Harry's jaw dropped as the fantastical scene unfolded. We had stumbled upon an otherworldly portal, connecting our stories to a parallel dimension. The characters, brought to life by our collective imagination, had become real. Together, we embarked on incredible adventures, crossing realms and encountering mythical creatures. The enchanted forest became our refuge, where I could fully embrace my femininity and explore my identity without fear or judgment. Within the enchanted forest, I discovered a magical wardrobe that held an endless array of exquisite dresses, gowns, and accessories. Each garment seemed to possess its own unique enchantment, transforming me into a different version of myself with every wear. As I donned these ethereal outfits, my confidence soared and my self-acceptance deepened. Harry too found solace in this realm, shedding societal expectations and embracing his own true self. T Together, we celebrated the beauty of individuality, transcending the limitations of gender norms and societal constraints. Word of our fantastical adventures spread across the land, reaching the ears of other kindred spirits who longed for a place where they could freely express themselves. The enchanted forest became a haven for all who sought acceptance and understanding, a place where dreams intertwined with reality and magic flourished. As time went on, our adventures in the enchanted forest became a testament to the power of imagination, friendship, and self-discovery. In this mystical realm, the barriers of judgment and prejudice dissolved, replaced by a celebration of diversity and the beauty found in embracing one's true identity. And so, my life changed forever that fateful night when Harry discovered my secret. What started as a moment of fear and uncertainty, transformed into a journey of self-acceptance, friendship, and the discovery of a magical world beyond our wildest dreams. In the enchanted forest, I learned that true beauty lies not in conformity, but in embracing the uniqueness of who we are, and creating a world where everyone can be their authentic selves, without fear or shame. 
As our adventures in the enchanted forest continued, we encountered a variety of magical beings who joined us in our quest for self-acceptance and liberation. Fairies with sparkling wings guided us through hidden paths, wise old trees shared their ancient wisdom, and mischievous pixies filled the air with laughter and joy. Word of our enchanted forest and its transformative powers spread far and wide, attracting individuals from all walks of life. People who had felt marginalized and misunderstood found solace and belonging within its mystical embrace. Together, we formed a vibrant community, supporting and empowering one another on our respective journeys. In this realm of boundless imagination, the boundaries of gender and societal expectations blurred, allowing us to explore and celebrate the full spectrum of human expression. People discovered newfound freedom in embracing their authentic selves, regardless of how it aligned with societal norms. It became a sanctuary for self-discovery, where one's identity could evolve and flourish without fear of judgment or rejection. Within the enchanted forest, I blossomed into a beacon of self-confidence, radiating the strength and beauty of my femininity. No longer burdened by shame or secrecy, I embraced every aspect of myself, relishing in the freedom to express my true identity. The lacy white corset that had once captivated my attention became a symbol of empowerment, reminding me of the transformative journey that had led me to this enchanted realm. As the magical energy of the forest permeated our lives, its influence extended beyond our adventures. The enchanted forest became a metaphorical bridge, connecting our world with the realm of imagination and acceptance. People who had never set foot in the forest found inspiration and courage in our tales, embarking on their own quests for self-discovery and liberation. Together, we initiated a movement of inclusivity and understanding, challenging societal norms and encouraging others to embrace their unique identities. Our stories reached far and wide, touching the hearts and minds of those yearning for a more accepting world. Through the enchanted forest, we sought to break the chains of conformity and create a society that valued and celebrated diversity. We organized gatherings and events where people from all walks of life could come together, sharing their stories, struggles, and triumphs. Artists painted murals that depicted the beauty of individuality, while poets penned verses that resonated with the hearts of the marginalized. Our efforts began to ripple through society, sparking conversations about identity, gender, and the importance of self-acceptance. Schools adopted curricula that encouraged open-mindedness and empathy, fostering a new generation that embraced diversity as a fundamental pillar of a harmonious world. In time, the enchanted forest and its message of acceptance became a symbol of hope and liberation. Its magic spread far beyond our own realm, touching the lives of countless individuals who had felt trapped by societal expectations. Together, we built bridges of understanding, inspiring a new era of compassion and inclusivity. And so, my life, once marked by secrecy and isolation, transformed into a journey of love, acceptance, and shared dreams. In the embrace of the enchanted forest, I discovered not only the power of self-acceptance, but also the ability to ignite change and create a world where everyone could freely and authentically express themselves. As, as I stood at the heart of the enchanted forest, surrounded by friends, allies, and a community united by the desire for a more accepting world, I realized that my journey had only just begun. The legacy of the enchanted forest would continue to inspire and guide generations to come, ensuring that the magic of self-discovery and acceptance would forever weave its spell in the tapestry of our lives.